Hey, SoCal. Over the years, video games have given us myriad heroes, from the Super Mario Brothers to the Final Fantasy XV promos. But Queer Code is giving us some new heroes, LGBTQ artists. Sponsored by Joystick, the monthly LGBTQ mixer at North Hollywood's Player One Barcade, the Queer Coded Art Show explores video game culture from a queer perspective, with 15% of its sales going towards charities of each artist's choice. Donations will benefit queer-focused organizations such as the Matthew Shepard Foundation and the Los Angeles LGBT Center, as well as general mental health nonprofits like the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. The need for mental health services is especially crucial for queer youths. According to a national survey conducted by The Trevor Project in 2021, over 40% of LGBTQ teens have considered suicide. In this vein, Jeb Whitlock, the founder of Joystick and Queer Coded, feels gaming provides a therapeutic experience for troubled queer youth. I think there is definitely a level of fantasy and otherworldliness that they latch on to because a lot of us, myself included, didn't always have the most emotionally rewarding time growing up. And so a lot of us would retreat into these video game worlds or other fantasy worlds to kind of find solace or something to connect to. And I think we took that word as a In addition to escapism, inclusion plays a crucial role in queer mental health. According to a study conducted by the Center for Inclusion in Education, feeling part of an LGBT community has a positive impact on mental health, emotional well-being, and quality of life. The study also clarified, despite there being a sense of solidarity among LGBT people, this did not mean that LGBT people are all the same. For queer-coded attendee Alex Margot, this art show is helping to carve a niche for SoCal's distinct gay geek culture, apart from the go-go twinks of West Hollywood and the tattooed daddy bears of Silver Lake. I think there's a certain uh, type that people think of when they think of, you know, the Southern California queer community. And I think this represents a more diverse and also different take on what it's like to be queer in the area. Um, and also just bringing like people together that uh, share those common interests to make connections. While Queer Coded addresses many challenges within the LGBTQ community, for artist Timo Reese, this show is a celebration of queer positivity. It's important to just like have fun times that aren't about like, oh gosh, it's so tragic to be queer. It's great to like bring out the personality of like, oh yeah, we're all nerds here actually. Um, I think that's, it's really important to show not only the tragic side, but also the fun, nerdy, geeky side of the queer 